Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to clean the evaporator coil on your furnace. This is equally as important as cleaning the condensing unit on the outside of your home, being as all of the air that your furnace is pushing has to go through that A coil. As the refrigerant flows through it, that A coil gets cold, and that's what produces air conditioning and cool air coming out of your vents. Now, if your filter is clogged and or stuff is bypassing the filter, if it's not a really nice seal, or if you take the filter out because you don't have a new one, all of that debris will get stuck in that A coil. And so that's what we're gonna be cleaning out today. Now my AC that we're gonna be doing this on is about three years old now. So I'm curious to see what the inside of that A coil looks like. If you saw my setup before, I did this new filter rack with a Honeywell four inch. It was a very bad setup and a lot of air escaped past the filter. And so I think a lot of debris got into my coil. This will drastically improve your efficiency. If that coil is clean, your compressor is not going to have to work as hard. Your fan motor is not gonna to have to work as hard. Now, if you were to have a contractor do this job, you're looking at between 500 to 1,000, if not more dollars to sufficiently clean the coil. Now that's because if you can't get to the coil um, with ease and be able to clean it, sometimes they actually have to remove the coil, um, pump all of the refrigerant into the condenser, unsolder it, take it out, clean it, and repeat all of those steps in reverse. But hopefully you can get to your coil like you'll see in this video and you can get this done and save a ton of money. So let's get right into it. So pretty much the only tools that we're going to need is a nut driver of some sort. You can get this as a drill attachment. I like this handheld one because you can make it smaller. It has everything from quarter inch all the way to half inch, which is super awesome. You can find this product on our Amazon store. Simply go to the video description, click on more, and then you'll see a list of all of these products where you can find all of my favorite HVAC tools. The other product that we'll need is some sort of comb that we're going to clean out the coil with. Now I bought this one as a combo with a bunch of other like coil fin straighteners and brushes. I think it was like $13, but this is going to allow us to get into the apex where there's really no room and pull that debris down while it's dry. And then we'll come back with the coil cleaner. And this is new Calgon's coil cleaner. It's a no rinse formula. So after we're done getting out the big debris, we'll spray this down and the condensation water will do the rinsing for us. All right, so as you can see, this is our coil. This is where these copper line sets go into. That's how you can locate your coil. If you have a downflow system, your coil will actually be under the furnace instead of above, but we have to take this cover off to access the coil and get to that to where we can clean it. So what we're gonna do to start with is we're gonna remove this exhaust venting as it's obviously in our way. All right, so now that that has been removed, we're just going to take off the covers of our coil. Now to get to this coil is going to be a challenge with my particular unit. If you have a Goodman, the, the covers are kind of difficult, especially since we have our um, float switch here and the drain are, are kind of permanently connected. But since we have the front cover loose, we have all of the screws out and I have play here, we can actually slide this whole assembly out even with the front cover and that will allow us to have access to the bottom of this coil. Now, a lot of times we don't have the ability to pull this coil out. And so in that scenario, what we need to do is remove these screws on this triangular piece. We need to shimmy that triangular piece out and that will allow us to have room right here to get in with that coil comb and clean it out. It is significantly more challenging. That's why the labor price is more expensive for a coil cleaning than a condenser cleaning, um, but it is feasible even if you can't pull this coil out. Now, if your setup is like mine and you just don't have access to get a drill or even a, a nut driver in there, uh, this tool is a real lifesaver. You can get into some real compact spaces or if you have like a quarter inch ratchet, you can uh, use that as well. I'll make sure and leave a link to this in the video description. As you can see, we're able to get this piece off 
and have access to the inside of the coil. Again, it is very tight quarters, but it is feasible. You might not get as you might not get as good of a cleaning, but you can definitely get the brunt of like the big pieces out and through this opening. So that's how you do it if you don't have access to pulling this coil out. So just be real careful not to kink anything as you're doing this. But basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly work this out. All right, so there was a lip right here. We just had to barely pull this pan over that lip. And now as you can see, this whole coil is going to slide right out. So just be real careful as you do this um, so as not to kink any of the copper lines or to pull on the wiring. And we're just gonna continue slowly sliding this out making sure that our lines are not getting kinked at any point. All right, so my coil is pretty much just sitting in place. If you want to, you could zip tie this up just to hold it in place, um, but mine's just kind of resting on the furnace there. But check this out, guys. So my furnace is only three and a half years old, and look how disgusting it is. Granted, this is before we installed the Honeywell 4-inch um, filter rack. Um, so once I clean this, it's going to stay clean for a long time. But this is a good time to mention the fact that you need to keep your filters clean and make sure that your filters have a good seal. Even if you keep the filter replaced, that does not mean that you're doing your furnace a favor. If air is able to escape past that filter, you need to address that in order to get all of the air that's going past it filtered. Now we all live busy lives and sometimes it's a challenge to get air filters on a timely basis. So I wanted to take a moment to talk about Filter Buy. Filter Buy is a one-stop shop for all of your filter needs. They have a huge selection of different size filters and can get any filter size required. Filter Buy offers huge discounts when you buy in bulk. They have an air filter subscription plan, so you will never forget to replace your air filters again. They come directly to your door, which is a fantastic feature they offer. They also have some excellent resources on their website as far as what size filter you need, what MERV rating filter you should get, and how often you should change your air filter. FilterBuy has multiple facilities around the country, so they can ship your order within 24 hours and get you that filter really quickly. FilterBuy also offers huge discounts when you buy in bulk, up to a 50% discount per filter when you buy six or more. Click the link in the video description and get all of your filter needs taken care of by FilterBuy. All right, so we've got our nice close-up of all of this nasty grime. I'm really excited to see how much better airflow we're gonna have out of the vents once this is cleaned out. So this is where we're gonna be using this tool. Um, and basically it's very straightforward. We're simply gonna go to the top. We're gonna grab and pull. Holy cow, that is insane. Now in the apex, you can probably, if yours is as dirty as this, you can probably pull it off in a sheet. But where this tool is gonna come in handy is right here where we can clean the rest of this coil and really get into those fins. Now this is very important that you do this dry. If you spray this with coil cleaner, you're gonna end up with a huge mess on your hands. So once we get all of this big debris out, that's when we're going to use our coil cleaner and then we'll spray this coil out and all of that foaming action will run down into the pan. You can choose to rinse this off if you want to, if you can get a hose there and put something underneath to where you won't get your furnace all wet. All right, so we've got all of our um, big debris out. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this down with our coil cleaner. 
and we'll watch that foaming action as it gets rid of the smaller stuff and it will drain right into this pan. So we're gonna shake our can as instructed on the instructions and we're gonna work from the bottom of the coil to the top instead of vice versa. And that's going to give us better coverage here. Oh, this is a nice smell. Lemon. You can shoot this at a pretty great distance. So that's another nice feature here. You can see it emulsifying that dirt. This part isn't necessary if, uh, if you don't have a water bottle or if you don't have really good access. Um, the can does say that you, obviously the, the condensation water is what's going to rinse this coil off. But I'm just gonna take a bottle of water and rinse this off. And you can see the dirt coming off. Giving it a good rinse. That is amazing. All right, that side is beautiful. Now in contrast, let's go ahead and look at the other side, which we haven't uh, sprayed down yet. There's the side that we haven't sprayed. And there's the side that we have sprayed. Quite a difference, huh? So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Working from the bottom up. Now, if you have some left over, you can also spray the top as well. And we can rinse from the top out as well. It's gonna be like a brand new coil. All right, you can even see the top, how it's darker here. So it's definitely doing its job. So this has been sitting for about five minutes now. We're just gonna come back through and just rinse it all off. So you can tell how well this is working, even after I just rinsed this. Um, I haven't done the bottom side yet, but our thing filled up right here. And so in order to keep this off of the ground, we're just gonna dump this. But notice how gross this water is. Holy cow. Lastly, we're going to rinse off this other side of this coil. And then we should just be about ready to uh, reassemble and then we should be good to go. So there's our finished product. Our coils look beautiful now on both sides. So we're ready to go ahead and slide our coil back in. So let's go ahead and just be real ginger about um, how we handle these copper lines as we slide this back into the case. Now, if you're pulling your coil out of the case like me, this is a really good opportunity to get eyes on your heat exchanger to see if there's any visible cracks or anything before it becomes an issue. Uh, my heat exchanger looks pretty good. I don't see any, any things of concern. So that's a good thing you can do while you have this out. So again, we're gonna be real careful with our copper um, line set. We're gonna shift this back into place. Now on pretty much all of these Goodman coils, there's a notch that the pan needs to slide into. So make sure that you're sliding it into that notch and not above it. There you go. This is a good opportunity to make sure that this is free. It's not getting bound up on anything. Well guys, we managed to get this much crap out of that coil. And then all of that black water that was in that bucket 
um, even after we got the big remnants, a bunch of bits was stuck in between the coils and that was able to clear that out and drain it down into the pan. So we are now good to go as we have this four inch filter rack. Now my coil got this dirty because I had a one inch filter that a lot of air was passing through and basically bypassing that filter and it clogged my coil. So if you're in the same boat and your coil is dirty, you got it all nice and clean and you want to keep it that way, check out this video right here and we're gonna show you how we did this conversion from a one inch filter to a nice Honeywell four inch filter. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.